that the political turmoil in Myanmar following the February 2021 coup will throw fresh challenges to Indian projects in that land was rather predictable. It was also rather predictable that the turmoil will have a spillover effect and a rather major one on Myanmar's neighbour, India. Only the magnitude was not known. As it is now turning out, Myanmar is becoming a playground of Chinese non-state actors, more precisely the mafia groups who are engaged in a wide range of illegal activities, throwing a rather serious challenge or challenges to India's internal security. Part of the problem, like the rising movement of drugs, which has an established link with terror financing, has close similarity with India's challenges on the Western Front. Both sides, incidentally, are among the world's largest drug-producing zones. Pressure has been building up on the West Coast for some time. In 2017, Indian agencies intercepted what's known as a ghost ship headed for the ship-breaking yard and along laden with drugs. The 2021 drug haul at the Mundra port led to nationwide arrests by the National Investigation Agency, the NIA, in the drug case. There is a larger element of Chinese influence in the region as well. The destruction of drugs took place as part of a special campaign, but the problem is rather old. Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Manipur and Mizoram share nearly 1700 kilometers of uns- unfenced border with Kachin, Sagaing and the Chin states of Myanmar, with free movement allowed up to 16 kilometers beyond the border. On the face of it, people on either side share similar cultures and oppose moves to restrict movement. The actual compulsions, however, lie elsewhere. The border states of Myanmar, the Rakhine chain, Sagang and Kachin, Shan and Kain are under the shadow rule of China. The entire area is highly resource rich, almost every bit of it from natural gas to precious metals and stones is sold out to China by the previous military government. Beijing is also heavily investing in infrastructure in the region. The unofficial influence is even bigger than the official one. The Chinese mafia control jade mining in the Kachin district. They also plunder Kain for gold. The Shwekoko and Kain is a hub of online fraud, human trafficking, etc. The impact is felt in Northeast India. Drug and arm hauls have become regular. The Himanta Biswa Sharma government in Assam, which connects all states bordering Myanmar, is playing a critical role in supporting the central government initiative to stop this trend. Mizoram in Meghalaya once emerged as favoured transit route for drugs and arms. However, over the last few months, at least 20 Myanmari Saltras have, arrest- have been arrested from Mizoram. A huge cache of arms was also confiscated from the state. It is for the agencies to establish if there is any wider design behind the activities in the east and the west. However, drugs and arms are not the only concern of the government. As is evident in the recent expose, India, Myanmar, China, illegal hair trade amounting to billions and billions of dollars. Investigators investigators say the money trail reaches up to online betting in China. The modus operandi unheard so far suggests that the entire trade is controlled by Chinese mafias operating out of Myanmar and or China. Myanmar is increasingly becoming a hub of Chinese non-state activities and passive aggression in the region, especially since the junta has taken over after the coup. India must be wary of the situation and protect its already porous borders in the highly volatile region.